was the first girl I ever slept with at a sex change. It's oh, yeah. true. Uh -huh. um, the first and only time I slept with a girl, <laughs> okay. she became a man. That's right. Is that true? Yes, it's absolutely true. Oh my God, you didn't I didn't see the country person. like you did. but Oh, okay. You didn't tell me that when I first met you. Big arms. I saw that later. So that's cool. I bought her her first strap on. <laughs> you I'm did? I'm so supportive, you know. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I fucked her that I bought her strap on. Some of us had very similar <laughs> lives. Huh. Did you fuck a lesbian? No, but okay. <laughs> first girl you slept with was a, uh, got a sex change. I'm talking yeah. about that. Uh, well, she was a lesbian uh -huh. first. Uh -huh. then she had sex oh, I guess I probably fucked a lesbian too. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't had sex with a woman in so long. I, I actually, in the hippie days, I hadn't really defined my sexuality in the late 60s. And just shortly before the Cockats happened, a year before, I had three girlfriends, one after another after another. Three really? girlfriends in the hippie days, yeah. With real vaginas and stuff? Yeah, the whole, it works. And then I wasn't <laughs> with a woman for years and years and years. And then I regretted not being with certain women that had uh -huh. come into my life. And most of them are older women but not all of them. Mm -hmm. And then I have, to have nothing against women. Uh, I have some of my dearest friends are like, like my sisters, like Fayette and Harlow from the Cockettes. But I've never really had sex with them. They're just like sisters. Yeah. You have to imagine. And then about 20 years ago, uh, I hadn't been with a woman in, God, 30 years or Did you make 20 years. Plunge? No. Uh, we were, me and my boyfriend were seduced by a woman on opium and had a three-way. Oh. Mm -hmm. That doesn't count. <laughs> uh, okay, so the, we uh, we talked about changing your life. Yes. Yeah, let's go on to tangents. let's go on to. What is your most proud moment? What has been your most proud moment? If it could be related to your art, your career, it could not. Give me my most bit. proud moment mm -hmm. would be personal because no one was there to see it. But mm -hmm. um, the day that I. When to get mental help. <laughs> cool. I'm not even, I, I can say that laughingly, but that was very serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm very proud of that. Yes. Because if I hadn't gone and got mental help, I might not actually be talking right now. So. Mm. Or even here, so it's cool. You would be mute. <laughs> <laughs> I would just not be present anymore. I would just be gone. Oh, okay. Um, I see. So that was a proud moment. And then mm -hmm. when I got all the, my friends to read my graphic novel in front of a crowd, as they played That's their recently. own characters. Yeah. Recently, they'll show you to the magnet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's five people that I knew very well. I knew their lives and their history, and their, their history was present in my book, and they actually read it in front of everybody. And I, So cool. It was, like, so special to see them do that. Mm, nice. It's changed your life. It could have been an episode, a person. Well, I have personal circumstances that have changed my life. Talk I don't know if I should go t too far in them. Well, if you're comfortable with them, um, there's a, there, when I ran away from home, mm -hmm. it was one of the, the most amazing things I've ever done in my life. Because I was a 14-year-old boy, and yeah. I knew I was in a bad place, and I knew I was going to get hurt if I stayed there. Yeah. And I saw a window, and I just, something clicked, and I was like, you don't have to stay here. And that's been the one thing that has sort of stayed with me at home my whole life, is mm -hmm. that if something sucks, you don't have to accept it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a very, very hard lesson to learn at any age, and these things. Mm -hmm. But if you can just say, hell no. Yeah. Get up and walk away. That's right. I was about a year yeah, behind cool. you, even though I'm 100 years older. I was about. I, I left when I was 15, because I, I had you just to get got up. Uh -huh, get up. Get up. Get up. I could not. Uh, that's it's like, an interesting moment, isn't it? Absolutely. You actually, have the courage to stand mm -hmm. up, look around, and be like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and go. Huh. That's cool. Yeah. I'm glad you did that. Mm -hmm. Did I you take to... anything with you? Uh, the cash box. <laughs> <laughs> Have more of my father's job. Uh, you took the cash box. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was an auto body mechanic and had a gas station on the Sunset Strip. That was his whole life. That's why I don't drive. Because I was such a rebel. To this day, I refuse to learn how to drive. Just because my father and only male, the only other male sibling, my step old step brother, were both auto body mechanics. That was their job. So it killed him that I refused to learn how to drive a car. Uh, and I had to work. I ran away from home when I was fifteen, and because uh, of child abuse. And, uh, and uh, I realized that, uh, um, what happened? Oh, I, you know, I took the cash box because I was making me pump gas on the sunset. You street. earned it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I remember I was so nervous running away from home. The first week I was there, I got a little, I got a little uh, a p room or a, a room or a thing. It wasn't even an apartment. On Beachwood Drive in the Hollywood Hills. Remember Beachwood Drive? I'm not sure. With a pool. 
off of Franklin at the Hollywood Hills, my first place away oh, from home. Oh, I never be from Franklin. And then that night, I didn't, hadn't even defined my sexuality. I went upstairs to, oh, and I met a girl at the pool, a woman, older woman, and she invited me upstairs for a joint or something. So I knocked on her door, and right at her door, right, I just opened, she opened her door. As soon as she opened the door, she put my head in her titties. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> dropped me in. I said, oh, my God. And then we got eyes oh what? And then I was so nervous, because it's the first time I was on my own, that I I smoked a whole carton of cigarettes, chain-smoked them in my room, and then puked black. <laughs> Threw up like black. <laughs> and got really sick, and then called my mother and said, could I come home? And she said, well, <laughs> she said, do you think you could hold off another couple weeks? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dad doesn't want to do it. Yeah. Um, Carton of cigarettes, so that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> it was, it was nasty. It was probably good for the first couple of packs, and uh, then it just got worse. Yeah. Huh. And eventually, I was able, years later, I was able to forgive them for that, and let that go, because I realized where they were from. And yeah. it was just a matter of environment. It, they were, you know, because... Mm -hmm. Because of an, and You're a nicer education, person than and I education, am. they had no. They didn't have the education I had, and they were from Missouri, <laughs> and that's why he was so prejudiced. He was an extremely prejudiced and bigoted person, mm -hmm. and I didn't understand. Do you that believe fact. in forgiveness? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. I don't know if I completely agree with you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't hold on to. I things. say it in a nice way, though. Mm -hmm. I don't get mad. I get even. As a Scorpio. Okay, that works for me. I just like, do you believe in revenge? Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> That's a Scorpio. That's one of my traits. I don't get mad, I get eaten. I think revenge is fucking wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be a silent form of revenge, too. Mm -hmm. It can be a, a kind of a revenge where, okay, if this is how you want to play, this is how I'll play, and nothing will transpire. But by nothing transpires, they're not able to, the other person isn't able to, no, nothing happens. Play. Nothing yeah. happens. Uh -huh. Again, there's... You don't play the game. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I'm Put doing down that right now. Chess piece.